Hi everyone, welcome to What's a Happening Is, which is my video newsletter that lets you know what's been happening with me in the last month or so. Um, it's shot in one take and it usually lasts in three minutes, though this time it'd be a little more because I have a lot to say. Let's start with the coronavirus. Of course, the whole world is basically affected by it at the moment um, in some sort of way. So my advice, I'm not a doctor, course so research these things for yourself is to kind of as you you know like here in LA for example we are kind of like ordered to stay in and only go out for the essential things uh, so it's very difficult to be home all day and so um, keep your immune system healthy um, I've been taking about a thousand milligrams of vitamin C which vitamin C is great to boost your immune system have you making sure that I've been eating balanced meals throughout the day uh, because especially when you're like inside a lot you tend to eat a lot of crap um, which is okay to eat some crap but not crap all the time so um, and also eating too much actually is counterproductive because it weakens your immune system and you get tired and so on so make sure you know if you need to count calories I've been going to a website to help me figure out calories uh, you can input like your age and your sex and how tall you are and whatever just to figure out how many calories roughly you need a day to stay the same way to so that you're not intaking too much. Uh, make sure you're going online and looking for free stuff um, as far as aerobic classes and yoga classes and dance classes because all of these instructors are laid off right now so then they're trying to stay fit and so they're offering free classes. Just look it up on YouTube, find stuff. Um, you know, if you're laid off, of course, apply for unemployment or look for a job in some way, though there's not many places hiring, but I did hear that like Amazon, Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, some places like that are looking for people to package stuff and so on. Um, I am a restaurant worker as well, so the restaurant, uh, I've, I've been looking for restaurant worker relief programs, which in LA I have found, but there's all the other relief programs for other jobs as well. So look for those in your community, even if you don't find any today, they might be there tomorrow because things are changing all the time. Um, I'm going to start with my recommendations because we're all inside right now streaming a lot of stuff. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say watch the news, of course, but don't watch it 24-7 because that will drive you insane. So do that, but then watch other things, various shells, so you don't feel monotonous watching one or two things only. Um, and then go back to the news and so on. So what I have been streaming recently is uh, the James Bond series. I had not really watched those before and I thought, why the hell not, right? So um, I'm actually enjoying them a lot. And then I've also been watching the Carol Burnett show. It is on Amazon and it's a show from the 60s, 70s and so on. It is amazing. She's a legend. If you don't know who she is, what's wrong with you? Look it up. Um, and um, on Amazon, the show is like, the episodes have been cut down to half as long as they used to be. They took out the musical numbers, kind of, but the sketches are there. So if you're looking for the sketches, it's great to see those at least, uh, if that's all you are able to find. Um, but I, of course, have found the full episode somewhere else. But, you know, Amazon is great, so you can do that too. Um... um and then um, the Writing Lab, uh, which is the class I was taking at the Groundlings, has been postponed um, until further notice, until things come back to normal, which they will, right? Uh, we're all going to get through it. Everybody will be fine. It might take longer than we're expecting, but it will happen. And then we'll move on and things will be okay again eventually. Um, so a friend of mine reached out to me from the Groundlings uh, and said, hey, let's write sketches remotely via FaceTime. And so we started doing that yesterday, and it's actually really fun. Uh, so reach out to your friends, like, you know, FaceTime, talk to people so you don't feel isolated. I'll probably be reaching out to a couple of other people to write with as well. Um, and I have a book coming out in April, but I have another one coming out in October. So I've been working on the October one, the one in April is still being final edited by the editor, and she's on target. So right now it's coming out April 14th. So assuming everything keeps moving that way, it will come out then. I am planning, though, to release the prologue of the book as a teaser on March 30th, which is not this Monday, but the next. So look out for that. Um, and uh, yes, stay safe, you guys. And, uh, you know, 
be cautious, be mindful. Even if you're young and you're not feeling sick, you can still be carrying the virus and just not reacting to it. So we just got to get rid of this as soon as possible, right? Um, and uh, big hugs to everybody. And all right, help each other out and stay positive as best as you can, okay? So that your brain is not going insane. Um, so, you know, I've been meditating again just so I can't, like, fill my day with things. Um, all right. Bye, everyone. See you next time.